Tell about the healer. Greater is the one within and call him as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky. And I'm a wait up on the giver. He'll deliver like a dealer. To take her higher. Hey y'all, welcome back to Brittany Plus 7. It's me, Brittany, mother of seven. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. Y'all, we are about to go to job orientation today so today is orientation day so i can figure out everything y'all i am i'm not running behind it's 8 16 i have to be there at 8 30 y'all my hair is just doing a number this morning it is so hard having short hair because i really do need a perm y'all and my hair is not participating i need a haircut y'all it's just short hair is high maintenance i'm gonna say that it's very high maintenance and i don't know how to really keep my curls in because i like mine to be curled up so right now it's giving old lady curls but i just had to leave up out of my house simply because i did not want to be late so i don't care how my hair look at this point i really don't care i care but i don't care so y'all i gotta get some stuff situated with this job, I still don't have my work boots. I, I, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that. I need to get them today. That's why I told them Wednesday and my child support did not come today. Cause that's what I was gonna use my child support to buy my work boots, but they did not, it did not come. So it's really got me feeling like what the fuck? Yeah, it really got me feeling like what the fuck. But it's okay. God gonna make a way for me to get them white boots. They are only, I think they was twenty five or thirty dollars or something. Instacart has been so slow, y'all. That's why it's been hard for me because Instacart been so slow. Because any other time. I wouldn't be in this position. I'd be like, okay, I could turn on Instacart and make $20, $30. And then also, it's because the kid is at home. So even if I did want to do Instacart or just go, my kid is at home. So when I go in here, I need to have them um, type me out something saying what my hours going to be, my pay rate, and stuff like that. Because I'm going to try to get him into daycare today. We'll try to get all my kids into daycare today all but my oldest kids because they can't go so I'm gonna try to get them in to take care fingers crossed fingers crossed I can they can prove they can give me that type of, type of document if they can't I'm gonna have to wait for two weeks to get child care and I don't want to wait like that so hopefully they can prove they can give me something to with my hours what time it start, what time it end. I think they will if I ask. I'm going to make sure I ask. Y'all, the office is literally... The office is literally four minutes away from my house. Four or five minutes away from my house. And then I think the job is like eight... Eight minutes from their office. So, all together, the timing is going to be like 10 to 15 minutes. I believe he said the job started at 7 o'clock in the morning. Y'all, I just gotta, I just gotta do what I gotta do for the next few weeks. I gotta push it out because I do got kids that's going back to school. The kids don't have their school stuff. All of their school stuff as far as their pants or their shoes or nothing. I, I know y'all like, dang, Brittany, I know, I know. So hopefully hopefully this child support comes the only one that has if you saw in the video the only one that has their school stuff knocked out is fat fat because his dad helped me his dad bought his stuff he didn't buy his shirts but he did buy his um all his uniform pants i got their book bags out the way i also got their some of their school supplies out the way. Breon doesn't go back to school until September. So that'll be okay if I continue to work. Which I will continue to work. 
I'll just handle him after the other kids go back to school because he just he just need regular clothes. Um, I'm counting on this child support child because the child support will be able to make sure I buy the kids some uniforms, and I'll just figure I'll figure my stuff out on my own as far as gas and everything because y'all know if I start work this week. It's a weekly pay, but I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to have a full, a full check until the middle, the middle of next month. Yeah, the middle of August. And I still have to pay the little, the, the rent that I do got to pay. I got to pay the rent and I got to pay the electricity and the Wi-Fi. So when I be saying my money be tight, y'all, I be having money off to the side for things like my rent and stuff like that. Um, I also was going to go to the Goodwill Bend today if my child support would have came because I would have been able to um, get some stuff from there. They be having some really, really good stuff at my bins, at the Goodwill Bend, like brand new stuff. Yeah, y'all, I'm about to go head off in here. It is 8.22. Um, I talk to y'all when I get out of here. And also, I would like to thank y'all so much for the encouragement and helping me get through this time in my life. It's been like two months that my income has been very, very rocky. But I can say within these two months that my kids has not lacked on anything. I'm just so grateful that it was during the, the summertime and not during the school year because that would have been awesome. That would have been just a bigger stress. So I'm just trying to get back to, um, I'm just trying to get back to the old me, y'all. The old me, and it is very difficult, especially when you're dealing with certain things. It is very difficult. Oh, and also, y'all, we are going to go to um, Dunkin' Donuts and get us a free um, drink today. Actually, um, so one of my TikTok people sent me an e-card to, um, to Dunkin', so, yeah, I'm going to see... I'm going to see how much the e-card is. I'm going to look in my email. I, I don't know. So, let me go on in here, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm just rambling. Hey, y'all. So, I just left the office. He is um the recruiter that I'm working with. He is currently taking me to the job site, y'all. I'm getting ready to pull up. Um, they did give me an employment verification form, so hopefully I can get child care, y'all, because y'all know, I, I, if not, I don't know what's going on, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get child care. <laughs> I'm going to get child care. I know I'm going to have to hold on and wait and stuff, but actually this, this, um, this job site is so close to home, and if my kids go back to the same daycare facility, it is so close to the daycare as well. But one thing that I do need to do, I do need to call my old daycare provider and see if she has a spot for my kids. That's the only thing about it. So, y'all, I'm going to go in here with this guy, and I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to head over to Dunkin', y'all, and I'm about to get my free drink. Y'all, I don't know what I want to get today. Yesterday, I had the, um, yesterday, y'all, I had the pine, no, kiwi, kiwi mango, or ki kiwi watermelon. I want to have that same thing again, but then I don't. I want to try something else, so I'm about to look on the app and see what I got, because, I, like I said, y'all, I wanted to try something new every single day i did not want to um i did not want to drink the same thing every day because since it is free and then i am going to order i am going to order the um probably like a donut or something i don't know i was just i just want to drink y'all that's it that's all so i'm about to look on the app i'll talk back to y'all in a minute 
Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna try the strawberry dragon fruit. I think it's strawberry dragon fruit lemonade. It's a refresher, y'all. I just don't. I'm really not in the mood for no coffee. I'm I'm really not in the mood for no coffee, y'all. That that's it. That's it. That's all. And then, I, y'all, I'm so excited to be starting work tomorrow. Like I said, I just gotta give me some steel toe shoes and or boots. I gotta figure it out, but I'm going to figure it out real fast. And then I gotta go back up to the office, his office, and get a couple t-shirts, y'all. Cause he he asked me did I did I want to wear did I want to get some t-shirts and I am perfectly fine with that. So I'm about to order this stuff and I'll talk back to y'all in a minute because I gotta use my app and I did call the daycare and the daycare they do have openings. So I'ma go ahead and um, put them back into daycare. Okay, y'all. So my camera is so crooked. Okay, y'all. So I got the strawberry dragon fruit refresher today like i said i'm gonna be trying different ones every single day until i find one that i like or the 14 days is up so here it is it's okay it's good it they are good. Then I had ordered some hash browns. They look just how they looked yesterday. So for both, I paid a dollar seventy-seven. So it was like I paid fifty, what seventy-five cents for each. Oh yeah, these are the glasses for work. I'm gonna put them in there so the kids won't lose them. Okay, y'all, so somebody sent something in the Amazon package. It is from Alicia for the twins, and it is some uniform pants. Here they are right here. Thank y'all so much. Y'all was listening in my last video because I did say, y'all, I don't think I'm buying no man, no clothes. Those are my kids' sizes. They are bigger kids. So I thank y'all so, 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 so much because... Y'all helping me out so much with my kids and getting their school stuff taken care of. I appreciate y'all so much. So, thank you so much, Alicia. I appreciate you so much. I really do. I really actually do. Hey, y'all. So, I just got off the phone with child care. Y'all, they told me that this paperwork that the job gave me is not going to be is not appropriate. So, I need to go to the office and get a, a, a employment verification form and with the employment verification form it would tell how frequently I would get paid and that's the only thing that's really stopping um stopping the daycare from going in so I'm gonna have to go get the employment verification form and then fill it out We'll take it back up to the job and have the job fill it out. Y'all, and that's so annoying because it's just like, y'all got everything y'all need on this paper. And that's the last thing y'all need. And I told y'all it's a weekly pay. Y'all, this that's so annoying. And then I'm, I'm probably finna call this other office because it's closer to my house and see, and see if they, um, uh, and see if they got the employment verification form instead of me going all the way to this other office. It's not far, but y'all, I'm trying to save the little bit of gas that I do have. I cannot wait to the day that I don't need to get none of this stuff from the county, the state. I cannot wait so I don't have to get nothing from the state. Like, no type of benefits, no nothing. That's going to be, like, the best thing to me, like, in my life. Because this this right here is so annoying. Like, you got, you, like, I'm one step, like, into getting them into daycare. 
so I don't have to be like so worried while they are at daycare. I mean, at at home, like while I'm at work, I don't have to worry about if I'm gonna have a babysitter because I know the daycare because the job, y'all. So let me tell y'all the, the schedule for the job. The job schedule is so great. When I mean it is so great, y'all, it fit my schedule to the T. It fit my schedule for what I need for it to work. Y'all, I'm so blessed because this schedule, this this job schedule works. It fits. Y'all, it fits my schedule. So the schedule that I am on it was like if, if they do something called a b and c i chose b because b works for me so b as of right now b goes from 6 30 in the morning to 3 30 monday through thursday every other week it is 6 30 to 2 30 monday through friday so that every other week on that friday you won't have to go to work. So every other Friday you are off. Y'all, that works perfectly. My daycare open at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. Like she told me like 5.30, 6 o'clock. The job is literally 10 minutes away from my house. So I would just have to be out, out my door at 6 o'clock exactly. Do y'all know? That's like that's like the best schedule for me. I talked to my daycare provider. I asked her about um, about school and stuff like that. And she was like, yeah, of course, of course. We gonna, yeah, we can do it like that. When I go back to school, when I go to school in September, I told her about that schedule, how they have to stay later on Mondays and Tuesdays. And she told me that was perfect. So, y'all, it's just like everything working out for me. But it's just always just like this little one little thing. It be always like one. So, like right now, I'm only worried about two things. I am I'm currently worried about my child care. Like getting the authorization put in so that um, the state can help me pay for it. And then... And the steel toe shoes. Like, those are the only two things, like, that I'm really concerned about. I've been looking, um, on Walmart. Y'all, I literally, when I just look in my bank accounts and stuff, I literally got, like, $18, $18, $19. All the shoes that I've been seeing, they are like $20, $25, $30. Like I said, I thought that I was going to be able to get my child support today. It did not come. So, I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. Y'all know we always figure it out by the end of the day. By the end of the day, we always figure it out because, you know, if I don't figure it out by the end of the day, the day got to end, the day going to have to end. Even if that means that I'm going to wait till the morning because hopefully that's the child support that come in the morning and I got to run to um, Walmart first thing when they open. It's going to have to be. That's what it's going to have to be. But I don't know. I am grateful. I'm grateful, even though I'm 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 struggling with doing some things today. But I'm grateful that I'm able to do this. And what I mean by that is, I'm grateful. I thank God that I thank God that God answering my prayers when He is and giving me jobs that um that are that can work with my schedule and by the way i did sign a contract so i will be at least working for 90 days which is perfect but 
when I was talking, I went over to, like I told y'all, he took me over to the plant, well, to the, um, what is it called? To the factory. And when I was talking to him at the factory, he was just telling me, like, we hire people after 90 days. We hire people after 30 days. Like, we just go off of you if you want to work here. So with that being said, y'all already know I'm like, yeah, because I that job is perfect for me. And yeah. But I am still looking for I still am looking for employment. I'm still gonna like keep my eye open for employment, y'all. I'm not gonna give up looking for employment because I am at that position. Because like I said, you you never know what, what could be going on with that type of stuff. And I don't want to get caught where I'm lacking and don't have. But I will say for me, I worked at a temp service before. When I worked um, through Freighter, I worked at Freighter. And I worked at, at a temp service in Freighter. And I did that for a whole year. A year plus, y'all. So, I can say that the stuff be... The stuff... Like, there is long-term temp services that have you at facilities for a long time. Y'all, so, I'll talk back to y'all a little later. Okay, y'all, so I got the employment verification form filled out. I am about to, um, actually send it back in to the office so I can get back on the phone with these people and actually, um... Um, try to get this daycare stuff situated y'all also they gave me work shirts i didn't have to get the work shirts but i asked them for them because this will be easier for me to just put on bottoms and i, also, I actually got them bigger because y'all know i'm a bigger bottom and i like my shirts to be a little bigger so i'm about to head over to um Dollar Tree actually because my daughter she busted her lip she busted her lip last week with her dad and when I looked at her earlier her whole bottom lip it was really really big so now it is peeling really really bad but I remember when my lips was doing that I would use Carmex and or a and ointment so I'm actually going to get her some a and ointment to um to heal her lips up y'all like i said i need not to be spending no unnecessary money but i've been putting i've actually been putting vaseline on her lips and it's not doing absolutely nothing so i need to get her some a and d ointment so yeah y'all i'm just i'm blessed I don't care y'all I, I just be i be stressing out but i i can say that i'm truly blessed behind whatever's going on in my life and i'm really taking this to the chin so i know some blessings gonna come for me i know i know and when they do baby i cannot wait i cannot wait to get on this platform and tell y'all all the good because who always just want to hear somebody like I, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people, they be like, Brittany, stop saying that because I love your content. Your content is so real. It's raw. It, it, it Like, you tell us the truth. And I know, but sometimes you just be like, dang, I want to hear some good. I want to I wanna know some good, some good. And that's what it is. I want to have some good. I want to have some good news to share. I want to say that I'm able to take my kids especially the twins y'all i cannot wait until until i get a paycheck when i get a paycheck y'all i am really taking brian and braxton and i'm letting them get whatever they want out the store whatever kind of shoes i know y'all that, that don't mean a lot but brian and braxton is so patient with me and i love that for them they don't never like complain but i know they be wanting stuff I cannot wait so I could just go and let these babies get whatever they want because they don't got a father. 
So it hurts. It breaks my heart that I'm not doing everything I can. But now I, I'm back on what I need to be on. I cannot wait so I could just, you know. I cannot wait so I could just go to the store and let them pick out whatever they want. And, and not have like, oh, you only got... You can't get that shoe because it's too much. I just cannot wait till I can do that for them. Even if it's just something so simple. I know y'all like materialistic things. It don't do nothing for somebody. But I, but when y'all got kids that's really patient. And they really like. They really hold off and they wait. It's just like you gotta like do something good for them. And I just cannot wait to do something good for them boys. Where it's just me and them. Just, I just cannot wait to do something good for them because they always got my back like a hundred percent. So I cannot wait to like really go and, and and do something good for them boys because, like I said, they don't have a father that picks them up, takes them nowhere. So they don't have nobody but me. So I always try to give them a little more or just spend a little bit more time. So, y'all, I'm finna go on in here. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. I really didn't want to get her no Carmex, but I just had to get her some Carmex because they didn't have no A&D ointment. They only had A&D cream. I'm just gonna get her this for now because this, this does clear chap lips. I just didn't want her lips to burn a little bit. I don't know y'all these kids always got something going on and i'll be feeling like i'll be having the stuff that i need but i'll be feeling like it's not enough and then i gotta make sure she's constantly putting this on her so i did not get the kind i did not get the kind that you put on the lips i got the kind that you just put your finger in and you um do put it on by yourself with your finger so i'm gonna make sure she wash her hands and stuff and actually i'm gonna when I get home, I'm going to go home and I'm going to give her a really, really, really good bath. And um, put some eczema cream on her too. I know y'all like, girl, you be have to do a lot. I do. I be have to make sure. Like, not trying to say it like that, but I am one of them type of parents that like, when my kids have like little things wrong with them, I like to see it first. And then, and then, you know, I like to try to heal it first. Like her lips being like that. I know that they're going to be going to daycare. I don't want her to go to daycare and they be like, yeah, why is your lips like that? You know, like little things that you can do as a parent to make sure your kid not being laughed at and taunted. But I also have to get them ready for daycare tomorrow. Y'all, do you know, I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to wake up at 430 in the morning. Hell, who ever said that? I cannot wait to wake up at 430 in the morning and get these kids together and out the door and take them to daycare because what what yeah I cannot wait so I, I gotta go home and get some get them some an outfit or something together because it is gonna be their first day back to daycare so I want them to at least look a little a little cute just a little bit just a tad bit cute so yeah, I'm gonna head back in the house, y'all. I'll talk back to y'all when something else is going on, y'all. I am still trying to get my boot situated, <laughs> my boot situation taken care of. But y'all know, and y'all, my hair. I need to. I need a perm so bad in my head, y'all. But I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Cause it ain't. It's not too bad. Oh, and by the way, y'all, we wear a hair net. We wear a hairnet, so I wouldn't even have to worry about this. I might, like, you know my hair looking any kind of way, because we do wear a hairnet. But the girls in there, they had their hair slayed under them nets. All I was seeing was pretty lace. I'm talking about they laces was not down. They laces was, was melted onto their heads. Look so cute. And that's the only thing that'll be about it. Like, when you be working around other women, you just be like, dang. You know, sometimes, y'all know how that is. Like, when you first start a job, you, I can say me personally, I sometimes I don't be, like, looking up to part, like, with my eyebrows and stuff done when you first start a job because your funds don't be right. But I'm going into this knowing what my bigger purpose is. I don't care how I look. 
as long as I look presentable and I don't smell like nothing, I'm good. I'm good. I know my I know my place. <laughs> I know my place in life as of now. You know, I used to be embarrassed to walk in front of a whole bunch of other girls because I always used to like second guess my appearance and stuff like that. But that comes from that comes from so many years of people putting you down and making you feel like you wasn't enough. So I'm starting to realize that I am enough and I do look nice the way I am. So yeah. Now I'm gonna go in this house and um, get this taken care of. Y'all, I left y'all in the car. Come on. Seriously. Y'all, I just sat on hold with these people for four and a half hours just for the office to close. I got one part of the process done. It just needed to have the daycare authorization put through. So I got the eligibility part taken care of. And it was just the, no, oh, look at my hair, whatever. It was just the authorization part. I needed to, I needed to um, take care of. Y'all, look, I'm gonna post a picture right here. First time, they hung up on me. Second time, they hung up on me. Third time, it just hung up because it was closed. Y'all, I'm frustrated, I'm irritated, but I know she gonna let them go tomorrow, but I just need to have my stuff in order because I'm not gonna be able to sit on the phone on on hold for my whole shift. I know I'm not. Get that. What time you gotta? Y'all, don't mind my hair. I'm gonna get it together, y'all. I've been running around trying to get everything situated, but let me tell y'all how good of a guy that I serve. Y'all know I've been really like actively looking for a job for a while. So I got the job and I start tomorrow. But the only thing about it is that I needed to have work boots. Work boots and my kids ain't got no daycare. So y'all, I literally sat on the phone with the open enrollment trying to get my daycare situated so my kids can go to daycare tomorrow. I sat on the phone on hold for four hours just for them to close and hang up on me. I was, I felt so discouraged, but I know my daycare provider, she will let them go because she know that the daycare will be up to date and they will back pay her. So y'all, that was one thing that I, I knocked out because it was like two, I had two ultimate goals today, make sure they daycare was in and I had to make sure I got some, um, some boots for work. Y'all, do y'all know, I literally, somebody sent me $15 and I had $10 already. So I had $25. The boots was online, $49.99, y'all. $49.99. I posted the picture where I'm just like, y'all, just help me out. Because I'm not the begging type, but y'all, y'all been more family to me than my family been to me. And it's so weird. Y'all, my hair is everywhere. Whatever. So y'all, let me tell y'all how good of a guy that I serve in the way that God show up for me and show out for me. And my story will be my testimony in a minute. And I, I will be um, giving my testimony to my story. I, I'ma have to, because it's been other things under the wraps that I just ain't talked about just because you gotta get through your storm then talk about your storm. I'm getting through my storm. Y'all, do y'all know, look at this. How come I go in there, the same boots the same boots that I needed, they had them on clearance for $24.99. Y'all, that was the only pair that was on sale. Somebody had to, that had to be a mistake. I, I don't know, but I feel like it was God, y'all. When I tell y'all, God don't play about me, any and everybody that's around me that's been praying on my downfall and so many things, God is working on me and working on my life and I'm accepting it. I'm accepting it and it brings me to tears because I'm really trying to change and be a better person by going to get a job, by not resorting to what I know. And, and y'all, I'm just so proud of me because God making sure he put me in steps and I had prayed this morning 
I just pray that I would, you know, have a better outcome and tomorrow will be will be a better day for me. And look at God. He just, he's sending people and he's showing out for me, y'all. But that's it.